Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week for the T-Mobile and Canadian Note 3. Um, do check out Wicked ROM and uh, if you need Wi-Fi calling, especially for T-Mobile users, um, go ahead and uh, try out this ROM. And of course this ROM does have uh, Wi-Fi calling, there we go, and it is working fine. And uh, also does have tethering broken. Um, it works out of the box. Let me actually show you. And actually, to get uh, T-Mobile uh, tethering working, you'll have to do one additional thing. Um, so what that is is go to uh, mobile networks in your settings under access point names. Um, you should probably have T-Mobile USLT this one, right? Uh, but this one has some kind of setting that blocks the tethering. So all you do is make uh, another one whenever you tether just change to this one um, just put whatever doesn't really matter the name doesn't really matter but for APN just put uh, fast dot T dash mobile dot com and go ahead and hit save and whenever you tether go ahead and switch to that this is the same one but I just made another one this one is just the minimal um, settings which allows you to tether uh, if you use a regular one what will happen is you can connect to it but you will not be able to tether, um, you'll just get an uh, empty message. So let me go ahead and show you, let me go ahead and connect um, to this one, which is this this one here, uh, 4473, and it'll say one device connected, and I'll show you that my internet is now working off the T-Mobile Note 3. So one thing I found out just by fiddling around with the APN, the existing APN will give you problems, but uh, tethering is broken, so you don't get any error messages, but you do have to do that additional uh, APN. But uh, this is great news for those of you who need tether, um, also working out of the box. And this is a pretty much a stock-based ROM, T-Mobile stock-based ROM, with its own theme. If you do choose the, uh, the Wicked ROM theme, I do highly recommend it, by the way. It's slightly white, uh, and uh, it's got its own wallpapers. Also, this ROM does have an option for Android 4.3 camera, which works flawless out of the box, a photosphere, all that good stuff that you would need, um, and also does come with focal camera if you want it, uh, or Moto X camera also. Um, so that's nice. Well, now, what's what can you do with this ROM? Uh, if you go into settings, and um, it's not in settings actually, just go open Wicked ROM control. Uh, if you go here, you'd be able to tweak a bunch of stuff like your change your icons, uh, pen window manager. Uh, if you want to add your favorite apps to pen window, um, you can go ahead and add it, uh, hit the save button, reboot, and then you'll be able to add any of your favorite apps uh, as under pen window here. There we go. And whatever app you add, it'll show up here and it will work. So that is nice. Also font changer if you need it. Uh, Expose Framework. Um, this ROM does come with Expose Installer. Go ahead and hit Install Update. Make sure it turns green. Go ahead and go to Modules next. Make sure to check on when I'm Expose. Reboot and then you'll be able to fully take advantage of all of the UI customization uh, and also system shortcuts that when I'm Exposed provides, uh, which is nice. And uh, you can go ahead and enable stuff like Hidden Flashlight Settings. This is very nice. Go ahead and hold down the volume up button. Anytime your screen is off, I find it really handy for quick uh, flashlights out of your pocket. A uh, bunch of other stuff you can do with the phone, messaging, theme, security hacks, a ton of stuff. I do have a full demo of this, so check that out. I'll have it on my site, link to uh, my demo. And uh, other than that, you get add away if you wanna block ads. Um, I actually don't recommend that for webmasters or people who work online or people who actually work <laughs> with ads. Uh, myself, I find it annoying because it blocks some sites like StatCounter and stuff which I use to check uh, stats for my website so I don't use it. Um, also you do have a choice of different audio apps. I chose the Walkman app. Uh, Walkman app, not too bad. You can go with the default Samsung. But if you want to make it work with the Viper 4 Android, which, all, which it also comes with, um, you may want to get non-Samsung music app. Um, that's why I got the Walkman 
Walkman also has its own um, sound enhancements, which you can use, but now it's hooked up to Viper for Android, so it should work flawless. Um, so that's my recommendation. And also, I do have a full demo of Viper for Android. Uh, it is such a powerful app. If you've never tried it, watch my demo. Uh, I have a full demo of the sound, why I tweak it. I mean, it's, you know, it's better than anything I've seen even on a computer, you know. So it is it's pretty awesome. You can really tweak your sound, make it into 3D sound, um, just a bunch of stuff. And that's, I think, about it for now. But, um, you know, you should have most of your stuff working out of the box. This is T-Mobile ROM. Uh, and also one of my favorite ROM developers, uh, Wicked ROM. I've been using it since the Galaxy S3, S4, um, you know, the Note 3, Note 2, all of that. And also does come with its own Wicked wallpapers. Um, these have been built, well, these have been, these are Wicked. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Um, so definitely check it out. And this is one of the first versions for Wicked, so you're not going to see that many features but I mean there's still a ton of options as I can I've showed you um, there is also some files you can download uh, in if you go use the Wicked ROM control um, there's some additional options you can get keyboard themes uh, drop down installer you know and also uh, if you're having trouble with some apps you can go ahead and wipe cache or, and dial the cache through this one here that usually fixes any errors like maybe your, your Hangouts app starts hanging after a couple of weeks or whatever. It actually happened to me, uh, but then that should fix it. Other than that, looking pretty good Wicked ROM, one of the best ROMs you can get uh, at least you know, for the T-Mobile Note 3 is one of the best ROMs based on the stock ROM. So highly recommend it for those of you getting started with custom ROMs and rooting. And also for those of you uh, seasoned veterans who have been flashing a bunch of ROMs, Wicked ROM, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, it kind of keeps everything stock while adding, um, you know, cameras, features, uh, pen window, um, audio, uh, audio hacks. One thing I really like about this ROM is that you see how Viper for Android was installed and I installed Walkman. And when I go to sound enhancements, instead of taking me to the Sony clear, clear uh, enhancements, which, which it's actually supposed to go to, it automatically hooks me up to Viper for Android. So which is nice. So very nicely integrated stuff. Um, you know, highly recommended and also tethering working out of the box. I got to turn this off. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's an all around all around ROM. <laughs> all Android ROM, you know, like all American. Anyway, um, check it out. Uh, all Android ROM, Wicked ROM. And also you don't have to install the theme if you don't like it. You can completely go stock. It does come with an Aroma installer. Uh, but looking solid and don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM if you end up using it as daily driver XA user evil one art yes that's a good, great name anyway um, see you guys all soon later as always if you have a note 3 uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.